Lesson 15.1c, Surface Area of a Prism. A prism is a three-dimensional figure with two identical and parallel bases that are polygons. The other faces are rectangles. A prism is identified by the shape of its base, just like pyramids. We can see this is a pentagon base, and this is a pentagon base, and they're parallel to each other. We can see the rectangular faces. A triangular prism has two triangular bases and three rectangle faces. A square prism has two square bases and four rectangle faces. A rectangular prism has six rectangle faces. It's got two rectangle bases and four rectangle faces. That's six rectangles altogether. A pentagonal prism would have two pentagon bases and five rectangle faces. And the hexagonal prism would have two hexagon bases and six rectangle faces. Do you notice that the number of sides of the base, a pentagon has five sides, that's how many rectangle faces there'll be. A hexagon has six sides, that's how many rectangle faces there would be. We're going to find the surface area of a square prism. We have a butter box here, and this package is a square prism. A side length of a rectangular face is 4 inches, and the height is 2 and 5 tenths inches. That would be 2 and a half inches, wouldn't it? Now, since the two bases of the prism are squares, their sides are the same length. If this is 2.5 inches, then this down here must be 2.5 inches. And the area would be length times width for the square side here, wouldn't it, for the base? So we would we have two of them, two square bases, so we're going to do 2 times 2.5 times 2.5. The 2.5 times 2.5 would give us the area of one of the squares, but we have two squares. We do a little math, and we see that it's 12.5 inches square for these two side bases. And the area of the four rectangular faces would be 4 times 2.5, but we have four of them, so we're going to do 4 times 4 times 2.5. 4 times 2.5 is 10. We have 4 times 10. That's 40 inches square. Now we add the two areas for a total area. We've got 12.5 plus 40. That gives us 52 and 5 tenths inches square. So what's happening is, because this is 2.5, if we put these together like this for our net, what we're going to see is that all of these heights are 2.5. This side right here matches this side, so that's 2.5, and that's going to be 2.5, and so is that because it's a square. That means this is 2.5, this is 2.5, so that's how we got all of those 2.5 measures. And then this length is 4. The fact that it was a square told us that they were all 2.5. Take a look at this tent. This is a pup tent. It has no floor. The height of a triangular base is 3 feet. So that would be this right here. And the width is 4 feet. So this right here is 4 feet. The height of a rectangular side is 4 feet, and the base side is 6 feet. So that means this is 4 feet, and this is 6 feet on the tent. If canvas costs 88 cents per square foot, what is the cost of the canvas for this tent? And we think one rectangle is missing because there's no floor, so we need to find total area first. We have two triangles, one on each side, and the area of the two triangles, well, one triangle is half times the base times the height. We have two of them, so we're going to do two times half times the base times the height. And the base is four, and the height is three, so we have two times half times four times three. Two times a half, well, that's two halves, that makes one whole, and four times three is twelve. We have one times twelve. That is 12 feet square for the two triangles. Now we need to find the area of the two rectangles. We know that 
one of the sides of the rectangle is a six for six feet, and this is four feet. And because this one's missing, we only have two rectangles. So the area of the two rectangles, one would be length times width. We have two of them, so we're going to do two times length times width. We have two times six times four, which is two times 24, and that gives us 48 feet square. Now we find the total area by adding them. We had 12 and 48. That's equal to 60 feet square of canvas. But we need to find the cost of the canvas at 88 cents per square foot. We found the total area of canvas for the pup tent was 60 feet square, and we know the cost of the canvas is 88 cents per square foot. We multiply. We multiply the 88 cents by the 60 feet square, and we get $52.80. We know that the canvas for this tent costs $52.80. Now, before we finish this lesson, I want to show you something very quickly that might help you. This says a carpet runner is 3 feet wide and 12 feet long. It has an area of 36 square feet. 3 times 12 is 36. How many square yards does that equal? So we're going to switch it from square feet to square yards. Well, we know 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. We could divide each side by 3 feet to convert them to yards, then multiply them for an area in yards. 12 feet would be 4 yards, and 3 feet would be 1 yard. We have 1 yard by 4 yards, and 4 times 1 is 4 yards square. So this is where it gets tricky. Some people would think, because this is 36 square feet, that you could just divide it by the 3 feet, but that's 1 yard. There's 9 square feet in 1 square yard. We could divide the 36 square feet by this 9 because there's 9 square feet in 1 square yard. And we could solve it that way. So be careful, because square units can be tricky. You have to remember that it's not just 3 feet to 1 yard when we're talking about square units. This is 9 feet to 1 square yard, OK? We're finished with Lesson 15.1. We're moving on to 15.2, which is broken into three parts. And the first part is using fractional edge lengths for volume, I'm going to be doing rectangular prisms. The best advice I've got for you when working with area of three-dimensional figures is to make sure you're including every side of that prism or of that pyramid or that shape, okay? Have a wonderful day, and please join me for the next lesson. Bye.